someone needs to be the house husband, right? Were you, you okay? I straight <laughs> away house oh husband. Oh my god, thank I you, eh. will so retire no tomorrow. Way. I like... I got invited by a senior to sing for his recital. He said, I want every single guy in the audience, especially the ones with a girlfriend, to wish they were bringing you home. What the? Ooh. Oof. That's a bit extreme. Who is this guy? When I see <laughs> men carry umbrellas now, I feel very like, Ugh. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hot Pot where we hop into different transitions in life. I'm Q. I'm Nick. I'm Joey. And today we have two very special guests with us. They are no strangers to the channel. It is Fauci and Ida. Yay! What's up? My favorite talent. Eh? 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 Wow, eh? you can see that. Uh. <laughs> what about Isaac and C? I don't oh, know. Us. It's still us. You're my friends. Oh. Eh? We so we're not, so we're not friends. friends. Okay, thank Q, you for watching I know you today's longest, episode. You know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fauzi. Um, I identify as a queen. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ida. I identify as Malay. <laughs> what do I say with these things? <laughs> for those who don't know, they are our cousins from this channel. They're from Code Rate. If you don't mm. know what Code Rate is, please go check it out after this episode. You watch ours first, mm. then you go watch them. And if you remember that episode where we had Isaac and C on the hot pot, um, they are in the same show as Isaac and C. They're yeah, always fighting. Sure. And Ida is always winning that. Oh my so god. Is can quite... we, can oh, we talk, talk about, about that? It. I am literally the epitome of not fulfilling the gender stereotype because I keep losing. <laughs> okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about something that almost everyone can relate to. Gender stereotypes that exist in our everyday lives and how that has evolved throughout the years. To start things off, what are some common gender stereotypes that you guys know of? I think girls, you have to like sit a certain way. You gotta oh speak God. a certain way. I was gonna say sit like a girl. What does that ever mean? Yeah, you should see how I sit eh. You sit like a girl like Ida, right? You're worse than a man eh. Ooh, stereotype right there. Oh. Oh. Wait, someone has actually said that to you. Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My parents are. Yeah. Oh. Like, sit like My a girl. Yeah. yeah, right. You know, like, like when you girl. when you eat at home, right? Mm. You tend to put up your leg. On the stool, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, like that. You know yes. That? Yes. I don't eh. I also don't eh. Okay, you got a culture <laughs> king right here. Because we were forced to close our legs. Oh. All the time. Too. I don't really like to open my... Actually, me, neither do I. I don't like to manspread. I feel like manspreading is just like, no, yeah. it's a no. I feel like I've been conditioned to like sit straight and confidently. Mm. Maybe in some way it is uh, a byproduct of uh, what certain expectations that men have. So you just want to go against it. You want to be not like other boys. No lah. I mean like men have to be also proper, like proper but in a different way. But you confident. are supposed to be a gentleman. Yeah. Mm. You are supposed to exude a sense of like uh, a leader. You have to be mm. someone who's, you know, just in charge la. Cannot mm. be too emotional. Oh my god. Yeah. Actually, yeah, on that note, right, the being emotional also and showing emotional vulnerability. Yeah. Like, the perception is that men shouldn't or cannot. Mm. That's a stereotype, mm. right? Yeah. But I think everybody on this couch is very in tune with uh, their emotions. Oh my Both. god. Ooh, I wouldn't say I am though. Ooh, what do you let's mean? Let's unpack that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're Wait, but a... it's really because of like gender stereotypes, I feel. Like, I don't want to be seen as like, oh, she's crying because she's a girl. Lah. Of course, she'll cry about these sort of oh. things. Oh. You know? Yeah, so okay. I just naturally, I try oh not to. It's like Taylor Swift's song, The Men. You just compare yeah. me to a Taylor Swift person. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, 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 oh, 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 I mean, I, I, I openly admit that I, I cry quite often. Just because I'm very emotional as an individual. In fact, I am that person who will watch a movie and sob very loudly in the cinema. Like, I will curl up on the cinema seat and cry. The how to make the grandmother oh my die God. a million Tell times. Huh? Huh? Nicholas, you what? Your <laughs> grandmother die a million times? How to make no, millions? Before <laughs> I feel like nowadays, I feel it's not as bad to be seen crying as a guy. I grew up in a very masculine mm. environment. Mm. Yeah, so I think there were things that were taught to me to not do. You have a lot of brothers, right? Gosh, not only do I have a lot of brothers, mm. I have four brothers mm. for context. I also grew up in 10 years of boys' school. Wow. Yes. Yeah. 10 years of being in a boys' school, right? Really kind of did something school. to me. La. Yeah, we went to the same secondary school. Did you feel the need to like, you know, I have to be this certain way because everyone keeps like, like, Wow. Hantaming me for these things, right? Did you feel like, you know what, I'm gonna try mm. to be a bit more chill? For sure, I feel like there were moments, but I think until I found a group of people who I, I truly could be myself around, mm. uh, then I could kind of unlock myself. When did that start happening? I think I went to JC and then I met 
girls for the first time, and mm. I felt like I, I was more in in you know in sync being friends with more girls. You know, I felt like there was uh, more things that we could talk about. I feel like another stereotype with masculinity and femininity is that men are the ones who put in the hard work, the labor, mm. like physical manual labor. And then women are just like caretakers. And if you need to fix something, then you ask the guy. Mm. Now change quite a bit, yeah. I think it's changed so right. much. The thing is, right, I feel like men have like adopted a lot of like more feminine qualities. But I'm not sure if I can say the same thing about like the general female. Because like males are like, oh, you got to take care of your child just because you go to work nine to five doesn't mean you can't come home and wash the dishes. But like no one really says that about like females. Like you go to work nine to five, you come back, you change the light bulb. Nobody really says that. Mm, but I think we are given more spaces and roles in power in the workforce as a result of the accepting females in more male dominant spaces. Mm. True, true. Yeah. But we are also given more space to really embrace our like femininity, I feel. Mm. Yeah. Wow, very deep. Yeah. I was just thinking that like, yeah, I've embraced femininity. Now I use sunblock and my skincare, <laughs> skincare game quite strong. <laughs> <laughs> Can be stronger, but... I've had a lot of like straight male friends, right? Who were like, I would say, hey, we're going out. Can you like wear sunblock? And then they will say, for what, sir? I'm a man. Yeah. Like, imagine thinking you're stronger than the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love that but also you. like, okay, like, like what, first of all, these things shouldn't even have genders attached to it. Exactly. You know what I mean? At this point of our lives, right? We should realize that a lot of these things that we do are very functional. Yeah. Right? And they shouldn't be for guys or for girls. Exactly. And I always found it very interesting that like, you know, there are certain um, consumer products, right? Mm. That like, is marketed towards men or marketed towards women. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But then functionally, it's the same thing. Oh my yeah. God. Like a, a razor. Pink, pink what? Uh? Pink text. Pink text. Yeah. 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 So like a pink razor, then they market it as for women. Yeah. And it's more expensive. And it's yeah. more expensive. Right. And yeah. then like the same razor for men, then the language that they use is like power. extra fresh, power cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> Then it's the same thing. Something else that I think comes up very often, right? When we talk about gender stereotypes is male privilege. Mm. How prevalent do you all think it is um, oh. now? Like, and has it gotten better? Is it worse? I think people acknowledge it more mm. now, but like nothing much has changed or maybe the changes aren't very obvious mm. yet. So I think like things at home, right? I think very simple things would be like, if I were to go home late, there's a certain expectation where you're like, okay, you don't come home so late, okay? But then when my brother does it, he's seven years younger, but it's the lack of like um, being strict towards mm. my brother. Does it mean that they feel like I can't protect myself as well as my brother can? Do you think that that's a gender thing or like a bias towards okay, one wait. child thing? <laughs> I feel like it's a gender <laughs> thing because like I have said before, how come my brother can come home at like whatever time he wants but I'm expected to come home at a certain time and it's always like, but you're a goma. Oh. As in, I can mm. relate to this because my father is exactly like your, your parents. Mm. Johan, this is for you. Kim Chai, <laughs> this is for you. Um, yeah, so Kim Chai has always been someone who, who controlled my curfew mm. uh, up to I was like 26. Mm. But my brother could do it long ago. Aside from that, right, just to, just to add on, chores-wise, oh. my, my brother was not expected to wash the dishes. Did you ask why before? As in, I questioned and talked back before. Uh. Uh, my mom just like kept quiet about it. La. Do you think it's just because men, I mean... Younger boys generally, they're not really great at like chores. Hey, I am great at chores. I'm so good at chores. Why are you I'm... feeling attacked? I never <laughs> so domesticated. But no. that stems from them not even being taught to do the chores. Yeah, oh, that's mm. true. Because yeah. men are supposed to be taken care of in that sense. That's why I think my mom was, my mom was just making sure that we as women should be the ones doing the chores. Mm. Mm. Which I felt was very unfair growing up. I think the perspective thing, the double standard is very evident, especially in... Take, for example, um, a, a woman who likes to sleep around. Mm. She's loose. Mm. If a man sleeps around, he just, he's a player. Lah. He, he likes to mm. test the field. Mm. He's in his youth, in his prime. He's got a lot, so much energy. Let him, like, let it loose. It's not what will happen. So it's been my mission to change that. Oh, oh. oh. How? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to reveal to everyone. Damn, damn. Wow. Yeah. It's a joke. Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of your physical appearance and how you dress, you guys feel the need to be forced into like a specific stereotype? There's a bit of stress because when you try to like be a bit more out there in terms mm. of your fashion, right? People will judge. But then if you don't put yourself out there, right? Then people also judge you. Oh, you're boring. Uniqlo. Yeah. Like you wear the Singaporean guy uniform. 
Either way, you're gonna get judged. Yeah. yeah. Fauzi wears a lot of Uniqlo, but like he knows how to pick his pieces so that he doesn't look too too you're basic. Too yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wearing and that styling was the real words. Yeah. Unique glow. Mm. Eh? Eh? Oh, 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 oh plug. Oh, hey, plug, 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 plug. It's one of those experiences that that now that I I do dabble with a little bit of drag that I realize that it is fun to kind of just transcend uh, typical gender norms, right? Mm. It's a sort of performance in that sense, mm. right? Where you realize that actually, uh, why are we so hard up on guys being a certain way, girls being mm. a certain way? Even with the art of drag, right? There is almost no specific way to be a drag queen. Mm. You can present yourself as a more masculine drag queen. That's completely fine. In the world I, I uh, exist in, right? Where gender performance is kind of blurred, you know? There's no line in between. No? There's mm. no there's no black or white. Mm. I think it, it has made me more confident in realizing that I don't have to be what people expect guys to be. It's not always necessarily malicious when people judge. They're just not used to seeing something that they are not conditioned to believe like links with a specific gender. <laughs> like if a girl wears baggy clothes yeah. and then you often hear the aunties like, oh, you, why you hide your figure? Actually, you're very skinny. They will even singe the shirt and be like, you see, you got a waist one. Why you want to hide? It's upbringing, right? And at what point is it upbringing and stereotyping? Well, actually, I saw something very interesting on TikTok recently, right? Where, um, why is it normalized for girls to dress like guys? Like, oh, boyfriend fit, boyfriend jeans, like mm. oversized, like button downs. But then it's not the same uh, the other way around yeah. for guys to wear right. girls' clothes. And the reason is because, right, it is seen as okay to aspire to be a man, but then it's not the same the other way around. Wow. Yeah, quite maybe, interesting. Maybe that's our sinking. clothes just don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I cannot crop top, man. Depending on where you grew up, the expectations for different genders are very different. Mm. Um, I feel like if you're talking about like in the Western context, obviously there is a certain expectation for maybe women to be tan mm. because uh, that makes them, yeah, makes them look sporty. But if you go to East Asia, like in Korea, for example, mm. your expectation is for you to be pale white. In, in the sense that like, I feel like women have that pressure to be a certain way. Whereas if a man was not kind of align with that cultural expectation, people don't really question that. But if yeah. you're a woman, they feel like they they need to pinpoint what you're doing wrong. It's always this concept of like, oh, you better prepare yourself so that when the right man comes, he will choose you. <laughs> I think the one time where I really was like, I noticed people questioning was when I went to poly. And then because I, I studied uh, mass comm, so it was 80% female, 20% male. So when I told, when I told like my extended relatives or like even like, random aunties and uncles like oh, I'm going to mass comm then they will be like oh then you go to the girl course oh. which is very strange to me hmm. and then even the 20% people will always assume the sexuality of that 20% oh. of the, yeah. the guys because oh. like if you're straight then why are you not in engineering or like business like business yeah, yeah. That kind of thing I think we all have different sides to us I, I think femininity and masculinity can exist in both men and women mm. and I think yeah. they should mm. because like why, why are they made to be like yin and yang or good and bad. Mm. There are a lot of good in both and I think a balance is important. Do you mm -hmm. guys think that your childhood played a huge part in terms of the stereotypes? Oh, for sure. Do you remember yeah. a specific thing that your parents once said? Growing up in environments where masculinity was the expectation, like with my brothers, we always fought. I was always crying. I was always called gumbang, which is like the, cry the term for crybaby which really affected me, I feel like. As a kid, right, wow, it really made me feel like, wow, I cannot cry, I cannot cry, I need to be tough. I think when I grew a bit older and I was a little bit more, I would say, cognizant of the fact that society has all these expectations, then I realised actually, uh, uh, it's damn tiring. Uh. It's damn tiring to be someone that you're not. And mm. then I realised that I can just be whoever I wanted. Uh. And I mean, look where I am now. If I was not as expressive, I don't think I'd be doing what I'm doing now. Mm. Eh? No, la, doing in general, right? Yeah, yeah. I would be working in a corporate job. Uh, uh, be a corporate idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Question, Question part! Would you rather be able to converse with animals or speak every language in the world fluently? Um, I would like to converse with animals, I think. Which animal you talk to? Oh my god! I know my cat hates me. I just want to find out why. Why are like, you gonna ask? Why, why do you hate me? What is the one thing you would do if you wake up in the body of the opposite gender, girl? 
P. Huh? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna know how like... it feels like to be peeing from. Sit down. I mean, Yumbo. Yeah, Cannot stand Yumbo. up. Maybe you also feel how a period feels like. Would you rather attend a close friend's wedding with a uh, unibrow or no eyebrows? Why are you always gonna do Yeah, I always gonna the eyebrows <laughs> questions. Eh. Why? Your it's eyebrows are eyebrows. Eyebrows. No, but Beautiful. my eyebrows are drawn. I have very little eyebrows. So actually, right, maybe one day I'll embrace the no eyebrow look. Would you rather use sandpaper as toilet paper? Oh. Or vinegar as eye drop. Paper. Same paper as some paper. paper. Maybe some hair will fall out also. Vinegar as eye drops can go blind on it. If you had to turn into food, what would it be? Oh. Oh. Perfect <laughs> question for her. Corn. Stuck in your teeth, then like cannot digest, come out your backside. Oh, I love corn. Too. Honestly, like something that stemmed from like my childhood, right? Mm. That is now considered a toxic trait of mine. You know where I'm going with this. I hate this. We're going to talk about our... Favorite ick. That thing. Ida's yeah. favorite ick. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't agree that men should ever carry umbrellas. And this is something that stemmed from my childhood. Huh? Because I've never seen my dad or my uncle or what like carry an umbrella because it's like it's just rain. It's just Singapore rain. It's not a typhoon. It's just what? <laughs> but hujan it's a cold. It's cold. You get over it. You know, you dry yourself off and then like the day will continue. But boys can get flu also. <laughs> yeah, yes. and then you take a Panadol and then you're done. You know, so that's why like when I see men carry umbrellas now, I feel very like, Ugh. I feel very icked out. Well, that's her ick. ingrained from you in like in your childhood that men should not carry umbrella. Not should not, right? But shouldn't have to. Uh. Yeah, so then like I think Fauzi and like Q actually brought up like a ton of like hypothetical examples right like oh what if your grandmother is in the car with you and then it rains yeah if it's for my grandma sure but if it's like for this man himself walking to me <laughs> on a, with an umbrella right I'm not meeting you ever again <laughs> honestly and it's the same and it kind of translates into other things also like men when they carry wet tissue <laughs> why yeah hand sanitizer can or not Okay, now that it's like COVID era, sure. But like beforehand, then you carrying your Bath and Body Works, um, vanilla. <laughs> huh? Don't need lah. Yeah, so these are all these gender stereotypes that like, it's not like my parents or my grandparents like say, oh, cannot. But I just never saw it happening that it just became, I, I never grew, I, I grew accustomed to seeing men without umbrellas. I always bring umbrella out. Same. Oh, I bring wet wipes. tissue also, yeah. And wet wipes. She's gagging. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring extra sunblock. Oh I yeah. love that. No, but I didn't see it happening, so my perception of you is still the Has same. Has not changed. Yeah. <laughs> if it's raining outside the studio later and I see you walking out of an umbrella, right, bro, you <laughs> collect him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're literally my, the bully from my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> wow. When I first joined LaSalle, my first year, I got invited by a senior to sing for his recital. Mm. This was a big deal because you are only year one, right? So I was like, oh my God, like I'm getting recognized in the school for my, like my hard work. So okay, I'll do it. And before the actual recital day, he sent out an email and he said, and this was addressed to the females in the band. He said, girls, you have to dress sexy, hot. And he sent photos, right? And it's like fishnet, crop top. At this point, I've never worn a crop top in my life. And I had to go buy one for this gig because I was scared that I would lose it. Oh. And this was the thing that until now, I'm so angry. He said, I want every single guy in the audience, especially the ones with a girlfriend, to wish they were bringing you home. What the? Ooh. Oof. That's a bit extreme. Who is huh? this guy? So actually, why do you guys think that these stereotypes exist? It's to simplify like how you identify certain things mm. I feel it's just very it's so much easier to put people or things in a certain box mm. you know when people say things like oh I'm very fluid then in your head you kind of just like so which category do I put oh. you in oh. and all these stereotypes I like, help to categorize law. but in reality the world is more complex than that lah. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate here at the beginning of time I think there were essentially physiological differences between the male and the female mm. right and I think this is something that I feel like when we're talking about it that is sex mm. the sex of someone mm. not the gender because gender uh in its definition, is not necessarily about the biological... Uh, mm, makeup. Phys- yeah, biological makeup. And gender is a little bit more fluid and influenced by what society places mm. on that experience as an individual. A lot of these physiological differences were the basis of where uh, certain expectations were placed. Yeah. And I think beyond that, when society moved on, it became worse. La. But I think it has reached to a point where we are at in this generation where we are thinkers. I am hopeful that the future generation will be able to discern 
uh, whether things should be gendered or not. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, but yeah. it sounded like Minister a president. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, 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 thank you. Yeah. Minister Fauzi, eh. Suddenly, general election. <laughs> so you put me next to him, he talking serious thing, I'm talking about umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Well, I'm I have an ache also, uh, when women have wet hair in the MRT. Okay, I agree. Yeah, see? <laughs> no, 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 shut, very damn. <laughs> Go on patch there. Exactly. But what yes. if it's a guy? But, no, but long hair guy, oh, I, the, I am more willing to forgive I guess I don't know <laughs> the, the double day, standard the day I saw like a woman with like wet hair right then she leaned against the pole right oh so dear. the the wet hair is against the pole dripping 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 is she, that not disgusting to you it is it's very disgusting but I think this boils down to hygiene right maybe not that she's a female but maybe my expectation of women is that they should be put together la. you know what yeah. I mean yeah. underlying yeah. that maybe right yeah. it's like you guys should be like drying your hair yeah. make mm. sure your hair is styled yeah. before you step out of the house so maybe I am part of this problem <laughs> we all, we all are. Are. no I think we all are in our own way yeah, yeah exactly speaking about that right I find the concept of ladies night oh. wow there. like why uh? because if we are there then, then the guys will be our bitch <gasps> it's oh. really... no that's the truth yeah. we are bitch once again we are pawns eh. oh but got free drinks eh. yeah and I'm okay not complaining about that <laughs> right I mean, guys also have to pay a lot more mm. to enter ladies' night. Last time when I club, right, we open a table, the girls don't pay. Eh. Like, everybody drink. Oh, no. But the girls don't pay, the guys so, pay. Sorry, I'm sleep-wising oh, all those payments. <laughs> Last time, no one sleeps sleep yeah. yet. Oh, make sure I'll k- claim the money back, right? Last time, right, I must right, go ATM right. and bank transfer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Is that it for you? I yeah. always thought that was like a male thing because the males always like, nah, I pay, I pay, I pay, I pay. Then you say you pay, then it's your pasta already. No, but you I think maybe like they feel me. the pressure to pay. Yeah, Otherwise, they, they don't, don't look like, like a man. If it's set up like, I'm here, this is my responsibility as a male in society, I need to take care of you, mm. I'm highly uncomfortable with that. Mm. But if it's like, you know what, I want to take care of you. Oh, different, huh? You, do you know what I mean? No. Do you understand what I mean? No, I know what you mean. It's, it's, it's I want one of to... those, it's like... It's like a, you are like a princess, I'm going to take oh. care of you because you deserve it rather than, no, 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 not your responsibility. I'm the man. Okay. I'm mm, supposed to take care of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. You sit down, don't say anything. It's an intention, I don't like I that. One is like, I'm being a gentleman. The other one is like, I'm, yeah, talking, they're talking down to you. Like, yeah, MCP. Mm. Yeah. I think mine's the opposite. It's like, if a male friend wants to pay for me and be like, no, it's okay, I'll get it okay but if i'm on a date and then you just like hey it's okay i'll get it i don't want huh what because like when you're on a date right there's already this like certain expectation and then mm. when the male comes in like no i have it then what after this what am i going to do <gasps> no to be honest what, what are we doing in the car pain. i don't want <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know i feel like it's we're just confusing people like we are making a set of rules right for everyone to 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 go with yeah but it really <laughs> depends on who you're going out on a date with right because like for someone like me right i'd rather sleep mm. mm. right yeah but then correct. i don't owe you anything you don't correct. owe me anything correct. Yeah. but then some women want to yes. always have men pay yes. for them which is nothing wrong and then we, we i feel like we are always telling men to 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 be a c- certain way uh-huh. on dates like to always pay but actually a lot of women don't want that suddenly the idea of gender has also been so closely aligned to the idea of economic status eh? yes right yeah. so like everything is intertwined and i think we cannot discuss gender in a in a silo it's crazy lah and i feel like at this point can we truly get rid of these expectations mm. because i feel like there are different people who will make use of these expectations to their own advantage mm-hmm. yeah. i mean power to you lah if you can get free meals out of a man i tell you ah Go for it. If you're feeling good for you, yeah. good for you. Yeah. you. please. Right. Eh. I think men have, have have had enough privilege in their life, so let them pay back. <laughs> this is your penance. We're always at these two ends of the spectrum, right? Yeah. Equality exploit yeah. men. <laughs> like, where is the the Cannot, middle uh, ground? Okay, yeah, like, I was going to ask, like, if if your wife ended up earning like four times more than okay. you now, and then but oh. then someone needs to be the house husband, right? Some, were you, you okay? I should <laughs> away, house oh husband. my god! Thank I you. I eh. will Shoot retire tomorrow. Away. I will, like I will like have it will be the best house, the cleanest house. Every night I cook five course dinner, okay. Oh, you got wow. six the reaction. Immediate, when you have children already, so yeah. like three kids to take care of, plus the household, plus everything else, but your wife go out and work, you so okay? So I've always oh. said that, like, the only re- like one of the main reasons why we are, we don't have kids is because I have to work. Because mm. I want to be present parent. Correct, mm-hmm. correct. So if I don't have to work and I can be at home all the time, I will have a kid. Okay, let's say, yeah. since you and your umbrella, right, <laughs> I want to ask you, would you accept a man who would be a house husband? Ah? I'm very comfortable being 
the one with the more more power. Mm. Yeah. Oh. So if my oh. husband earns less and then like I happen to be earning like a good amount and he wants to be a house husband, right? Great. I'm just gonna come home, have a nice dinner, sign sign you a bit, and I'm done for the day. <laughs> oh. yeah. You know, like the stereotypical. Buy me, like, buy me something nice. Yeah, sure. Like, get yourself something shiny, girl, and then like he mm. will buy like a golf club or something. Oh. And then like he's done. And then like he's happy, I'm happy. Mm. Okay, but then like it has to be that I offered you the option, not you come and tell me you don't want to work. That one is a different story. You want to have an option of choosing what what no, your if op- I, the I must give you I like yeah, I yeah, must yeah, give yeah. you the option like hey honey, like I'm I'm earning a lot now, you can don't work. But if you come and tell me, honey, you are earning a lot, I don't want to work, get on my face. What? Okay, okay, wait, wait, you, you lost me again. <laughs> <laughs> It's basically like Ida wants the power. If Ida wants to make the decision, yeah. you cannot make the decision for me. What if it's a suggestion? Yeah, like, exactly. Hey, you know, it seems like this makes more sense. Like, yeah. work is doing... Mm. No, I'm, she don't. I'm better at cooking than you. <laughs> he hide all the umbrellas. The children like me more. Oh, what? That, that one oh, she well, well. <laughs> If the children like you more, right, I am quitting my job first right. before you yeah. even say anything. It's a competition. Yeah. yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Everything is a competition here for me. I think think the important thing is that whether you are a guy or a girl you need to like try to be objective when you analyze like okay does it make sense for me to step into this role does it make sense for you to step into this role mm. and then you discuss that like objectively la. i feel like as the world changes um we have more agency for ourselves mm. to decide for ourselves what we want to do and what we want to achieve in life i feel like the moment all of us can accept that as a human being, we are able to do unlimited things. Uh, I think it will lead to a society where we're all happier lah, yeah. and not restricted by expectations that were given to us or placed upon us from the heyday, where, which is now irrelevant. Lah. Yeah, I think that sums it up quite nicely. Because like, like, the world is your oyster, but then because of certain gender stereotypes, you only want to explore this part. Right. Then you're scared to explore the rest. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on The Hot Pot. You can also catch us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Me Listen. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. And thank you, Fauzi and Ida, for being here today. Yay! Thanks for listening to my rubbish. Yes, and you can also watch Court Red after this, so please do. After this episode. After. Mm. We're not done not yet, a... so don't need to skip yet, yeah? yeah spoiler alert, I won. Eh? Eh? Huh? For any episode. Honestly, at this point, yes. Clearly, there's so much that we couldn't cover today. If there's anything that you wish we talked about or anything you want to add to the discussion, comment down below. We will meet you in the comments and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye. 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 Today he put concealer, he told me just now. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Expose yourself. Yeah, yeah, I box. Uh, I box. <laughs> I box. <laughs> I a bit I box. Tired, ha? Tired, ha? That's why I got I box. <laughs> <laughs> No, so that, yeah, my eye bags were getting a bit bad the past uh, two or three weeks because I never sleep much. So I put a little bit. <laughs>